That was a close one. Uh, so you, Sharukin, uh, Arman, so I don't butcher his name, almost got choked out in the very last 30 seconds of the fight. I got to be honest, um, I'm giving it to Armand. Uh, I think he did enough to be able to beat the former champion, Charles Oliveira. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, Teacher Controversy with 5 View 360 watching UFC 300. Uh, so far, I'm rating the card at A. I've been here since the early prelims watching the whole uh, card. And right now, still, with uh, what? Now, three fights left in the entire card. Um... Still, uh, Diego Lopez is my fighter of the night that's deserving of the $300,000 bonus. Um, Kyla Harrison, number two. And Jerry Pro Pro Prohoshka, number three. And the worst fight of the card so far has been Al Jermaine Sterling versus Cater. Uh, I want to hear what the post-fight interview is going to be, but more importantly, I want to see these cards. I think that um, Armand did enough. Look, he almost got choked out. He almost got choked out. I thought he was done. There was a couple of times where his his body flopped down. He was in that for about at least a good 30 seconds. And he survived. But his, his body had flopped down a couple of times and like went kind of limp and then he popped back up. By the way, what is he doing? He's still hugging him over there. But I want to listen to the cards. Charles Oliveira in the corner there. With over 800 quality tools to maintain. They took a while getting those cards together. I think they're going to give it to Oliveira. I just have a feeling we need a robbery at least once a night or some bad cards. Mike Bell scores the contest. 29-28, Oliveira. Oh. Adelaide Burr scores it. 29-28, Sarukian. The Burr call. McCarthy has it. 29-28 for the winner by split decision. Armin. Okay, the right man won. This so far is now the closest fight of the card. Jessica Andrade versus Marina uh, Rodriguez was number one. That fight was close, but now this was a, this was a razor close decision. Congratulations, sir. I'm here with the winner, Armand Sarukian. What a fight. What an incredible fight. A fight that... When you see a fight like that, you really wish it was five rounds because you are both world championship caliber fighters. It was an incredible fight. How did you feel about it? First of all, I want to say thank you so much for Oliveira because then he's the one of the human guys in our division. So he didn't have guy. to take the fight, Oliveira. And, uh, it was an honor to, to fight with him today. I want to say thank you so much, UFC, to give me this opportunity. I'm... I feel so good, and but I didn't understand who gave him uh, the one judge gave him to him. I don't know why, but it's okay. I think it was probably because of the near finish with the submission in the first and the near finish with the submission in the third. Okay, doesn't matter. I won, and uh, I want to fight for the title. Next, I'm gonna be first guy, the youngest UFC champion in one but both times division. Did you have any concern at all at the end when you were hearing the scorecards and you were realizing it was a split decision? No, I thought I thought it's gonna be uh, all judges gonna give me, but it is what it is, you know. I gotta win by this uh, by TKO or finish, you know. But Charles he is so so tough. I gotta work on my skills, on my skills, and uh, come back much stronger and better. Well, it was a phenomenal fight against two of the very, very best in the division, and you are certainly one of the top contenders. I know that your UFC debut, you fought Islam Makachev, and you have had so many great victories since then, and I know that this is what you are striving for in the future. Give us your thoughts on that. Yeah, it was five years ago, my fight short notice with Islam Makachev. I gave him the toughest fight, and... Uh, I believe myself, next fight I'm going to win him. Just gave me that opportunity and that's it. Congratulations, sir, and a great fight. Armand Sarukian, ladies and gentlemen. And he's had a hell of a run 
since then, since losing to uh, Match AF, I didn't see this fight. I don't remember. I know, but I didn't see this. Um, next, Dustin Poirier. Maybe a, maybe the winner of uh, Gaethje versus um, Holloway. Maybe. That's for the BMF. You can't really consider. I mean, I mean, I guess you can consider, consider Armand in like the BFF. I mean, the BMF. Uh, you know, I think of the BF, the BMF belt as like, you know, like brawlers. Like going in there. You know, I'm not saying he's not, but, you know, I don't know. Uh, so far, uh, still giving the card an A+. Plus. No, an A, not an A plus, not an A minus, but it's a great card so far. Um, best fight of the night, most explosive was Diego Lopez versus Sadiq Yusuf. Kayla Harrison was impressive. Al Jermaine versus uh, uh, Calvin, that was boring. Uh, this was competitive while it lasted. Prosca versus Rockic. Uh, Figueredo and uh, Garbrin opened up the card, the early prelims, the very first fight. Jessica Andrade versus Marina uh, Rodriguez. Wasn't a bad fight, close fight, but the right woman won. Jalen Turner just seemed like he quit to me. He wouldn't be there no more. Just my personal opinion. And uh, Bo Nickel got another choke out. Move it up. So Oliveira is crazy because he didn't have to take this fight. He could have just waited for his rematch. But um, yeah. That's how it goes in the UFC. And I wonder if the fight would have went differently if it would have went five rounds. I probably would have favored uh, Oliveira, to be honest. Uh, take your time out. Like the video. Subscribe. I'm T-Street Controversy with 5U360.